In this video, we're going to do a bowl lathering tutorial with Shannon Soaps. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB, and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to bowl lather a traditional shaving soap, and we've done this many times over the years, but it seems like there are always new requests to do these videos, so I will do another one yet today, and I will link it in my uh, tips and tutorials playlist. There'll be plenty of stuff there for new folks, so I'll link it below. Check that out if you please. So, today we're gonna be using Shannon's soaps. Now I have a lavender lemongrass here, but I'm actually gonna use a, a sample that I have of Shannon's. One rule I wanna get out of the way right in the beginning here is, there's really no hard and fast rule on lathering. Lather in the way that gives you a great result. I'm gonna show you the way I do it, and it yields me a consistently good result, but you do it however you would like to do it. If you come across someone who says, this is the only way to lather a soap, or this is the best way and all other methods uh, stink, walk away. <laughs> there are many, many different ways to achieve a bowl lather and get a really good uh, result. Uh, first, obviously, you're gonna need a bowl, and I have the Captain's Choice Copper Bowl here. Uh, today, I'm gonna be using the West Coast Shaving Synthetic Brush. Now, this is a brush that is very soft and, and it yields very easily. Some people would call this a floppy brush. You will encounter people in the hobby at times that say you need a high backbone brush or one that's more stiff to create a lather. Nonsense. You do not have to have backbone to create a lather. You do not. Uh, some people prefer to have it. it. It makes it easier for them. But I'll show you today that you can create a very nice lather even with a brush that's very soft and some might consider it floppy. So, Let's go ahead and move the camera down and then we'll show you how we make the leather. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back and we've got some soap scooped uh, off our sample. And what I would do is just take the spoon and scrape off the top of the uh, puck like this. So here's your container. I would just simply scrape some off until you get about a quarter teaspoon, maybe half teaspoon. Um, be generous with how much you're using uh, because you really can't use too much. And what I do is I'll just take my finger pop the soap off and I'll press it into the center of the bowl like this and then I'll spread it out. And again, you can do it however you like. This is just the way I'm doing it. I'm gonna continue to sort of spread that soap out, just sort of get it in the ridges of that bowl, just to spread it, making it a little easier to load from, more surface area and so on. And when I get it spread out sort of to my satisfaction, I'll stop and uh, wet my brush. And so continuing to spread it out. And there, we're, we're pretty well distributed. I'll set that aside. And all I'm gonna do here is take my brush and wet it. Just gonna wet it, get some water down in it. And then I'm gonna squeeze that water out. So it's just gonna be damp. Now, what some people like to do, which I'm gonna show you here. Sorry about the drain there. They like to do what they call blooming. So they'll take some warm water. Let's warm this water up. All right, so now our water's warm. They like to put just a little bit of water on top of the soap, like so, it's warm, and we'll just swish it around. Not too much, just a little. And that is called blooming. And some people like to let it set that way for a while, but today we're just gonna leave that soap on there, and that's what we're gonna start with in terms of water. So I'm just gonna take my brush and begin to make circles. We'll make circles to the right, like so. And then we'll switch and go the opposite way. The reason I don't go in one direction all the time is I want to try to wear the brush evenly. Because if you're always doing circles in one direction, it leads to uneven wear on the brush. So I like to go in circles to the right, circles to the left. And what will happen is your mix here will begin to get pasty. That's when you add more water. So we'll add just a little bit more water there. Remember, don't add too much water too fast. That can lead to problems. Just be careful and then continue to swirl. And you can incorporate some back and forth. Now, at this point, I'm not splaying my brush. And splaying means pushing that brush out and bottoming it out or close to bottoming it out. I'm just lightly going around the surface of the soap, just mixing some water and some air at the surface level. And again, we'll continue to make circles going both ways. We'll splay just a little bit, go back and forth. And again, we're gonna get a pasty consistency right there. We'll add a little more water. And essentially it is a process of doing this over and over. 
making circles one way, then the other, and then we'll splay a little bit back and forth. I try not to splay the brush heavily too much at the beginning because that, to me, incorporates a lot of air in your mix. And I don't want a lot of air early on in my process. So we'll just continue making circles. Again, when it gets pasty, add water. We'll add a little more water here. And now since I've worked this just a little bit, I'm gonna to begin to splay the brush. See, I'm pushing down a little bit farther and doing those back and forth motions. Circles, circle the other way, splay it. Now is when we really begin working the lather. And as you can see there, can you see the milky consistency of that or yogurty? You see the sheen on that? That means we've got enough water in there. And now we'll just continue to agitate. So we're mixing water and air with the soap and creating a lather. You see the consistency of that? Very creamy. That's what you're looking for. It doesn't have to be as creamy because you can still shave with a lather that's not super creamy, but a creamy lather is generally well hydrated. See how creamy that is? And now we're ready for a little more water. We'll just add a little more water, just a little bit at a time. That's probably more than I need, but have no fear. We can work it in. We just continually work this lather. Work it in a circle to the right, work it in a circle to the left, splay the brush, move it back and forth like so. Can you see the consistency of that lather? Very creamy, hydrated. That's what we're looking for. And I find that this Shannon Soaps makes a creamy lather like this very easily. As you can see here, this is not a complicated process. You just do the same thing over and over, adding water as necessary. It can probably take a little bit more water. I like my lathers to be well hydrated. That makes them slicker. And again, Making circles one way, the other, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And now we're beginning to, you know, splay the brush more. And look at the lather quality there. You see that sheen? See how it reflects the light? If you're not getting a sheen, it means you're probably, you either have too much air or not enough hydration. We'll put a little more water in there. And we'll continue to mix the lather. Now be careful, add water gradually. That is the key. You see we're spilling out a little there. But this Shannon's will make an excellent creamy lather, as you can see right there. See how that looks? That's what you're looking for. And it's really not difficult to do. Just take time and practice. See how much hydration is in that lather? That's exactly the way I like my lather. And that's how I make it day in and day out off cam. Now I will let you know this. Some soaps are finicky in terms of how much water they can take. So be careful, add water slowly. If you do, you're going to get a nice, well hydrated lather. This one can actually handle a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more. Why not? You can test your soaps and continue to press the water content and just see how much they'll handle and just do it in the way that you like. You can see plenty of hydration in that lather. Very simple, making circles, back and forth, splaying the brush, and you get a really nice lather with no problem at all. Anyone can do, anyone, excuse me, can do this. It just takes practice. And if you work at it, you will have a very nice hydrated lather like that. All right, let's move back up top. I'll be right back with you. All right, and we are back, and let's show you how this lather that we've made looks on the face, and again, I have pushed the water content of this lather to get a nice creamy lather, and let's see how it looks on the face. And now all we have to do is paint it on. You see that sheen on the lather? Very creamy, very nice, and you saw just a little bit of Shannon's, some water, no trickery, no magic, no nothing, no need for a bunch of backbone. It makes it just fine, and I can tell you right now, this is a well hydrated lather that's going to be very, very slick using a soap that comes at a very good uh, budget price. So you can make a great hydrated lather really without a lot of effort with a very well-priced soap 
as you can see here. Look at that. Look at that hydration in there, holding the water. And we're just playing around with the lather here because it's fun. Just experiment, folks. Don't be afraid to experiment. See how much water you can get in there. Now, you can go too far. Uh, and this is, for this soap, probably the max amount of water I would add. But I promise you right now for straight razor shaving, this would be perfect. Nice, creamy, dense. No problem at all. As you can see there, it's uh, dripping off the brush. That is going to be very slick, though. I promise you that. Now, some folks don't like quite this much hydration in their lather. That's okay. Experiment with the levels of uh, water and make the type of lather that works best for you. Remember, the type of lather that results in a great shave is a great lather. And this one today, I promise you, would result in a great shave. I promise you. Let's slap a little more on there. Plenty of hydration in that. Look at that. You see how those peaks, see how it's sticky there? That's a very nice lather made with Shannon's, a budget soap, easily with a, with a brush with no backbone or what some would call floppy. Easy to do. You can do it too. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, C2B, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.